Okay, Monday, March 22nd. The weekly close will be in about one hour. We will have the hourly close in two minutes. So basically yesterday we came back and once again, the 21 moving average holded, but we still didn't find enough strength to close above 58.9. So let's see if now we manage to start to grind up to try to push higher. We are already be uh, still below uh, above this support or trying to at the moment. We have this resistance and the big resistance for now is the, this area here. Okay, so this is the situation, 21 and the 20 holding once again. And oh, plus once again, the 89 exponential that we see. Two candle closes here, one low, higher low, up. Back down, we did the low. Here the higher, we just pumped from this one, but anyway, still the 89, always closing. We came down, we didn't touch the 100, closed above the 89, push a bullish engulfing, pushed higher. Now on the four hours, we are facing resistance on the 20 and the 21. So let's see if we consolidate, see we are facing resistance. It's one minute for the hourly to close and we are closing below. I don't know if we try to do a higher low here to try to push higher or maybe we just do maybe some short squeeze and back down or if we start closing above 59.2, this is the area, at least 58.9 and especially this area here. So this area needs to start closing above 58.9 and then starts to close, starting to close above here to try to push higher. For now, this can still be a bearish retest, but we are still above the weekly support. So this is the situation now. I still see these areas, but let's see. Okay, so if you want to buy, you have low, higher, low, higher, low, you can put your stop loss here and make bids in this area because we are still below resistance or you can wait until we close above and use one of these areas for the stop loss or you still can put bids and the stop loss will be on this swing low. So this side, there's many ways to do the entries. Remember we are facing resistance now, support it here and let's see. some bull volume starting to come so this is a bullish engulfing so remember we can do still come higher so we are still in the range that we are not going anywhere and um, okay so on the trend line on the four hours we managed to close above so we are back there and the weekly resistance, support resistance, is this blue line that needed to hold, and for now it's holding. So, still okay, but remember, the goal is to close above 58.97, which is this every resistance, because here we didn't manage, so now this will be turning to resistance. Remember, we are in this triangle. Maybe it will be better to wait for it to go up, and confirmation above here to try to push higher. For now, we can still be ranging here. Let's see how the stock market plays out, the dollar index as well. And so we are still holding, but needs to show a little bit more strength. Maybe today we will go higher and close above here to try to push higher and see if we manage to close above these ones and the FIB extension. If not, we just might do just one short squeeze and back down. Okay, so stop losses will be below here for the bulls. Or they can buy here and, and put some bids and the stop loss still in this area or below the other swing low. Okay, so now the most important, the weekly. Remember, eight days for the monthly close as well. The monthly is still bullish. As, as I said before, we are above the blue line here. Remember, 
this might have been, this can be happening, what's happened here, this kind of red small candle with a buy, so try to come below and the buyers step in control, so this can be it or this can be it, so it's the same pattern, so you can use the stop loss on the swing low on this candle and wait to see if, so the risk is always managed. Remember, if we don't pass the white line here and the FIB extension, we have these areas on the 35 area plus the 12 year. Okay, but for now, bulls still manage to push the price higher, so I'm seeing this happening and one more leg up, but I really don't know, so it's about risk management. Let's see what we do today, if we manage or we roll down Okay, so this is the weekly, daily, as we can see, 21 still holding and the 20, the buyers step in again, but we are still not managing to close above this resistance, but we are trying as we see the, the price is pushing higher. So let's see if we, st we close the day green above 58.5. At least try to get green and it's still possible. So one hour to go. But as you see, stop loss can be just below the 21 here. And hopefully it goes up, but it's still very tricky here. I think w we are waiting also for the stock market to open and see what the reaction, remember the the dollar index is trying to push higher, which is not good for for the stocks. So let's see. So this is the daily. We are in the triangle for hours. As I said before, we are rejecting the 20 and the 21, but we still have one hour, so we still might close above. Let's see, or at least here it's still better than red. So we are still green, but not much volume. It, this was the weekend, so this is just algorithms. So low, higher, low, higher, low, four hours, as I said, one hour. Bearish engulfing, but still above support. We are on the 21, so let's see. Close is above here, it's bullish. If we don't pass now these moving averages here, and we've start to grind down, might be some more consolidation. Support here. Remember on the one hour when we got that, we got the low, then a, a hammer, higher low, higher low, closed above, here and up. And then the moving averages until we get into the, the see we are rejecting now in the 21. So let's see if this holds, this area here, and otherwise we might have consolidation or we might just start to break down. So let's see. I see more ranging here. Remember, this is the area that we need to start closing above, at least from here or above. For now, let's see if we manage to close above this candle. Okay, so alt. Ethereum, see, bearish engulfing, as we can see, it tried, and one another try, so I'm not that bullish, but let's see if this holds, but all the tries, boom, bearish engulfing, here, try, try, bearish engulfing, try, bearish engulfing, down, try to go up, go to the moving average, the last one, bearish engulfing, so careful, because the dollar index is going up, stock market will open and might, we might some have some more downside. Let's see, Litecoin. See below the 21, we still have, we can still make a higher, a higher low here, here in this area, let's see. But this will be all resistance. This has been resistance, so only closes at least above this area or this area starts to get more bullish. See this cluster here? 
candles close. It's been rejecting all these and we've tried to push higher and now facing rejections. Dot still grinding here. So I'll put the daily. So as we see, this is just algorithms trying to decide, not going up or down. But remember, we have all these areas here. It's starting to get red, still facing support. But look, rejection from the top, trying to hold here. So consolidation. Let's see, we are still in the triangle. As we can see, not pushing higher, not going lower. Let's see this week, but I think this is a bearish retest. At least looks like from this rejection, now we are getting red. I'll take this one out. No, that one is important, so. Link. Rejection from the trend line, still trying to hold, so still consolidation, but we need to close basically above here or above there, okay? Other daily. So I was saying, yeah, we are still below. Let's see. Yeah, red. So still not passing this area. Still resistance above. This is a buy area. Remember, we are trying to break out from this triangle. But we still have because we went up very high, we still can come range here. So you, if you are a, a, buy, a, a bull, you can buy in this area a little bit, but just remember you can buy until here, until here, and put the stop loss below here or below here. So remember, or you, or you just buy on strength when we start closing above this cluster here. So we are below, remember, this area, we are below this area. Look at this. So we are ranging, but doesn't look so good now. So I see more downturn a little bit. So let's see. How is the weekly closing? I'll take out this. So rejection from the top, double top. We are trying to hold this support here and this support. Your stop loss can be here to see if we still manage to push higher, but remember. So it's a double top. You can buy on strength when it starts to close above here, <coughs> or if this holds and you just use your stop loss here. It's very easy. So let's see what we do. It will be a tricky, a tricky week. And for the, the monthly close, let's see how we close the month. The month is still bullish. So let's see bitcoin we are coming down on bitcoin so see so this might be a bearish retest i closed my short but seems like i need to open it again because i saw the price going up and i prefer to mitigate my risk so i prefer to close it and now that i show i see some signs of weakness I can do it, but I'll just wait for the daily to close, the weekly to close, to see if we st when we open we still push down. If not, I will just wait a little bit because we are still f on, on top of the support, so still ranging, so not rushing now, just waiting. So this is the stop loss. If you are shorting, you can put the stop loss here and wait for this to come down. And it's an easy one. So let's see if I will do it, but it's still tricky. We can still range a little bit. Okay, this is my target, as I said yesterday. I still see this trend line here. There's still this week here that was not tested on the weekly. So we can, I think we will maybe just be sideways this week until the, we, the month to close. So see we are starting to close below the weekly support. If we close below, now in 40, 50 minutes below this trend line, I'll do the short and I'll just put my stop loss here, very easy. So it's very easy, so the risk is minimum. 
I will make a bid here, another bid there, and and I just put the stop loss. I will do two bids, and let's see. But if we st if we close above this area, I'm still don't short. I will just wait for confirmation below this trend line to see if we come down again. Okay, so this is the weekly. This is where we are, still holding, barely, but we can still open and then maybe push higher with a short squeeze if many people try to short. So I'm just waiting patiently and see what's happening. Remember here on the weekly, still pointing down, seems like a bearish retest. As I said yesterday on the video, so it's still tricky. We can do this here, but we can also come down. So remember, risk management is just Bitcoin. The stop loss is here, below this week. So if this, something like this happens, you're safe and we push higher. So remember that we still might be able to push higher and make a short squeeze. So we are still below, uh, above the, the blue one. So this, let's see where we close. Still above, as we see, can see, although not going anywhere, rejecting from here. So let's see, four hours, it's quite important now. Starting to get red, as we see. And maybe we have follow up. So, okay, so I'll close the video. I'll try to short if I had the confirmation soon and use a, a few beads and I will put just my stop loss below this area. It's coming down. Okay, that's it. I, I didn't show, okay, okay. One second, so I already show, so Litecoin also doing a bearish engulfing now, but remember still 45 minutes to close. Rejecting this line, we need to start closing above here or especially above higher. Remember this, to, this area was not touched. See this trend line plus the 200 exponential. So we might touch here, consolidate here, and then let's see if we break down to here or if we manage to push higher from here and just consolidate. Those, still red, not going anywhere, consolidation. If we close below here, I see these targets. If we manage to close above here or here, we are still coming here. If we close above here, maybe push higher. Okay, so still holding, barely. Let's see how the day opens. Stop loss are still here. Remember, we can come down. If we start open and start to go up, you can put an entry and stop loss will be here and then maybe a bit here and wait for it to close above here to buy a little bit more. And, and if we close above here, buy a bit more and your stop loss will be here or below this trend line. Okay, so very easy. As it's on one, one euro, mathematically, still have these lower targets here. Remember, we are not passing this cluster here on the daily. We are above this support still, but we are not passing this area here. Basically, we need to pass 1.09 to be more bullish. And then 1.15, so I think we are consolidating, maybe just come here, then try to push higher, let's see. Or we break down, let's see. Okay. Remember the golden pocket on the FIB extension was it's here, 35k. It's still my target, but everything can happen now, so we can still go up. Let's see now. Red still, still above the 21. So consolidation, breaking bearish on this retest. It's the last moving average before all of this. Remember, we don't have, so we need to close above this one to be more bullish. 
this can be a bearish retest. Okay? Stop losses for the bulls will be here. For the low, higher low, higher low, stop loss here, this can be just ranging and push higher. So everything is still possible. Very simple, the risk management. <laughs>